Hello again from Pilot Training Solutions. Today we're going to tackle the differences between a supercharger and a turbocharger. We've had some students ask what is the main difference and we are developing the CFIA course right now and we do tackle it in detail. So here's the video. As your airplane climbs to higher altitudes, the density of the air decreases. This results in a decreased power output of a non-turbocharged engine. By compressing the air by means of a turbocharger, the turbocharged engine will maintain the preset power as altitude is increased, or at least until the engine's critical altitude is reached. The turbocharger consists of a compressor to provide pressurized air to the engine and a turbine driven by the exhaust gases of the engine that drives the actual compressor. It is controlled automatically by a pressure controller or wastegate to maintain the manifold pressure at approximately a constant value from sea level to the engine's critical altitude. Once the wastegate is completely open and all the exhaust gases are routed to the turbocharger, that's when the compressor cannot spin any faster. That is your critical altitude. Climbing from there will decrease the air density inside the carburetor and therefore the power output of the airplane. Once the pilot has set the desired manifold pressure, virtually no throttle adjustment is required with an increase of altitude, or at least again, until the critical altitude is reached. A supercharger is very similar to a turbocharger. The function is the same, but the turbine is spun by the engine rather than the exhaust system. If the engine is very powerful, this is desirable for a couple of reasons. First, the turbine temperature is much lower, and second, with a powerful engine, the turbine can spin much faster, therefore increasing the critical altitude considerably. If the engine doesn't have sufficient horsepower, the supercharger is not desirable at all. It would decrease power output rather than increase it. The engine already drives the propeller, the alternator, the magnetos, and possibly other systems, see the air conditioner, etc. And adding to this, another demanding system such as a supercharger would not be beneficial at all. And as I said, this is an extract from the CFIA class, which is under development, but you can purchase the private written test prep, which is about 11 hours of interactive training to get you through the written test, but also to impart all the knowledge required to pass the private. We also offer the instrument, and that's about 13 hours of instruction, again, interactive, with a guaranteed way to pass your written exam. And finally, we offer the commercial. And on top of that, we offer also all the check ride prep classes. So once you pass your written, check back with us to see if we can help you pass your check ride. Until next time, blue skies and happy flying from Pilot Training Solutions.